In this episode, I'm going to talk to you about this rod, the Vision Stillomaniac. What is up guys, welcome back to another video. I hope you're all keeping safe and well. If you are a returning subscriber, it's good to see your face again. If you are new here, my name is Rhys and I make fly fishing videos and tutorials that will help you catch more fish. So if you'd like to learn more, please press that red subscribe button and smash that bell so that you don't miss out on future videos. Okay, so let's get down to it. Every week, and I mean every single week, someone has asked for me to do a vision review rod. So I thought, what better time to do it than now? For the past eight months or so, I've been using the Vision Stillomaniac 10 foot 7 weight for all of my fishing. So much so that I've actually thrown out two of my older rods and replaced it with the 7 weight and the 6 weight. And no, Vision haven't paid me to talk about these rods. This is simply my opinion. So to understand whether this rod is right for you, let's Let's break down some key facts and fundamentals about this piece of kit. Now the rod was brought onto the UK market by Vision a couple of years back to meet the needs of the modern still water and competition angler. There are three choices with this rod. You can have a 9 foot 9 6 weight, a 9 foot 9 7 weight or a 10 foot 7 weight. It's a four piece fast action rod with a Novel reel seat design and a full wells handle. The rod itself comes with an orange butt section and a greyish blue metallic finish. One small addition to the rod is that it has four different length measurements on the butt section that allow you to measure your fish. If you fish bank competitions that are fished to FIPS moose rules, then this little addition can be your friend. The rod comes with a five year warranty and retails for around £370, which if I'm honest is worth every penny. So when would this rod fit into your still water fishing? Like when would you actually use it? So let's start off with the 10 foot for a 7 weight. This to me is what I would call an all rounder. It's strong enough in the butt section to give you the control and brute strength that you need but it's also sensitive enough in the tip section to adapt well to the more softer static methods of fishing. If you need to chuck two hiwis on a die 8 this will do it. If you need to chuck a sharp back cast into a howling wind, this will do it. And if you need to chuck two small buzzers on a five pound tippet and a flat calm on your local small still water in the middle of summer, you guessed it, this will do it. Now the problem I've always had when fishing competitions with three rods is that one of the rods is great for one method but not the other. So for example, I've got a pulling rod which is great at that, but it is absolutely useless on the bung. And likewise, I've got my six weight, which is great for dries, but I can't put a cat's whisk on a fast glass on it. It's just too soft. And that is where, for me, I think this rod is leading a change. It really excels at fishing multiple methods. And nowhere was that more evident than Rutland the last two weeks. I could fish four buzzers and a floating line with it, or I could fish a dive five with two blobs, and we were getting double hookups and landing those fish. So, full testament to the rod, it copes well under that pressure. So if you're looking at your rod setup at the moment and thinking, I'm missing an all-rounder rod, then this is something you should seriously consider. And let's be honest, you've seen my videos, you've seen that I do not like to spend a lot of money on fishing kit, but at that price point, I feel like I'm getting a lot for my money. Now, my only criticism with the Vision Rods are, it doesn't have the small little hook to hold your fly above the cock. Now, you could say, Reese, you're being really pedantic about that, and yes, I probably am, but I am a creature of habit. Most of my rods have had it, so why can't this rod have it? Now, it doesn't change my perception of how the rod performs. It's still a great rod. It's just one of those small things that I wish Vision added. So, in terms of where this rod feels comfortable, die eight with two boobies, die three with two blobs, a fast glass with a cat's whisker or an apps worm, floater with buzzers, and the bang. I find myself turning to this rod first whenever I'm thinking about those types of methods. But let's say for example you want to go a bit lighter. Let's have a look at the 9 foot 9 6 weight. I mainly use this rod for bung, nymphs and dries. 
It's not a rod that you're gonna cast 80 yards with. It's not what it's built for. It's built for the most sensitive methods and small still water. When I've given this rod, coupled with a Vision XLV reel to day ticket anglers at the lakes that I go to, the one key thing everybody mentions is just how light it is. It's not like your standard heavyweight setups. You could fish with this all day, and whilst you could opt to pull a lure on it, I think the seven weight does that better. Where the six weight excels is stuff like twiddling two nymphs back on a washing line or fishing a single dry. It also doubles up really well as a streamer rod. I've been using the six weight on the river with a 4.5 mil tungsten bead with ease. And it just feels comfortable. So if you're looking at your rod collection and thinking, I've got my all-rounder, I'm really happy with it, but I want something a bit more sensitive, a bit smaller, have a look at the six weight. You won't be disappointed. Now we've covered off the methods that these two rods excel at, YouTube seems to think that you would like to see this video. And if you're looking for pointers in buzzer fishing, why not check out this video here? If you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, as always, please give this video a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, please consider subscribing. My name is Reese. Thank you for watching and I will see you next week. <laughs>